Chinese said to him that there, there's no other race in the world more stupider than black people. Oh. And that's why black people is to the bottom of every economic ladder in the world. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ambassador Vase, and I'm back with another awesome video. On this channel, we talk about the positivity about Africa and Africans with a bigger picture of changing the negative narrative that the pessimists have about Africa and Africans. In this episode, we are treating a very controversial topic that has been making waves on social media about a Chinese man who has made a bold and insulting um, statement about black people, saying that black people are the stupidest race on earth. The Chinese said to him that they are there's no other race in the world more stupider than black people and that's why black people is to the bottom of every economic ladder in the world and they will never rise up he told him he said you know this is a black country mm -hmm. and in this black country a chinese or any other ethnicity any other race of people whether it's indian chinese arabs and he went mm -hmm. on saying and they can come into a black country and they can set up a business next to a black person mm -hmm. in a black country mm -hmm. and sh with the help of the black people mm -hmm. they will put the black man out of business in a matter of weeks mm -hmm. when he highlighted the fact that black people are stupid i was in awe but when he explained it to me i must agree for another ethnicity to come to our land and tell us that we are the stupidest set of people that has ever walked the face of the earth we would argue and get angry, but it's a fact. Mm -hmm. Because you can set up a store no matter what your prices are. Once the Chinese are selling next to you, the Chinese will shop with the Chinese. Mm -hmm. If you set up a business, and it's even applied to the Indian. Indians will first shop with Indians. Europeans will shop with you know, Europeans. Black people are the only race of people who will spend their money with another race of people who don't like them or who don't care about them. So I must agree. With the young Chinese man, we are so far in that situation the stupidest set of people that has ever walked the face of the earth. This statement has sparked outrage, but are we really to blame for our own issues, or this is just from a stereotypical viewpoint? Let me explain this in a Ghanaian context since I'm a Ghanaian. For example, when it comes to Ghana, issues of galamsey and corruption, it is the same Ghanaians who collaborate with these people to bring the nation down, to bring our communities down. But does this make us stupid? To me, absolutely not. Let me know what you think about this comment. Because I believe that every society has its own flaws. So what we are supposed to do as black people or Ghanaians, what we are supposed to do is to address this issue without internalizing these negative stereotypes. Now, to add more context to what I'm saying, let us take a look at a video reacted by Kudish Sheldon and Margaret Hepti. First of all, from Kudish Sheldon. He reacted to a video where a Chinese woman, previously deported from Ghana, managed to return through Togo. This raises questions about whether black people are really safe in the hands of black people, our border security, and the influence of other nationals on our country. December 2018, do you remember Ghana deporting an illegal mining queen in this country, Aisha Wan? Maybe you know they follow the news, but you people they remember, right? This woman they engage in illegal mining in Ghana to the point says she has a name, the illegal mining queen. She was deported. She was arrested and deported back to China. She's in the news again. She re-entered the country. Through illegal means, acquired a Ghana card, started her operation again, and now she has been arrested again, and she has been arraigned before the court. Do you people understand how this country we like we they sink? See, I don't get it. And you see, you know, go fit tell me say some big man somewhere no get hand for this thing inside. She has been enabled. Because the audacity, the audacity she gets to re-enter the country illegally, then deport you and then deport you. Don't come to this country again. That is what it means. So for her to come back 
and come and practice the same things that she did that got her arrested and deported bro this country has been driven into a state of abyss and we need pragmatic leaders to do some things about this because bro at the end of the day if you don't take one at a time this country then we'll, speak, we'll wake up one and make, we'll, make people walk out the country is like a tall country you know look 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 at this shameless country can you die for ghana what would you die for ghana what is ghana doing that ghana can't die for herself similarly our very own mark help tv also highlighted the sad case of dr papa kwesi indium of gn bank ghana sends them with the banking sector no? government shutting the bank and it down a whole lot of people are not musevu or muska kokum it's very sad it shouldn't have happened what do you say walk into the previous bank space to see that it's now being run by chinese people doing different things Share video, ni din I'm say okay. Hey, just say, eh, eh, me say, Charlie. And if you, what's nice now, being who you pa? You, you, I don't, I don't, I can't even put words together. Looking at all these instances, you might say that okay, this is just a recent thing, but I can give a historical context to what I'm saying. Let us see how Osajifu the Bakari Kuma was overthrown. To be honest, if we, if we knew the reasons behind this coup. As we all got to know through the CIA, the documents which have come out, then I would have regretted I took part or maybe supported it going. Because I think that that had destroyed the part of growth of Ghana. But did you take part in the coup? I didn't take part as a soldier. I was in the air with my fighter plane. To stop them? To stop them. And we didn't stop them. We didn't have instruction to stop them. So you mean, you regret that you even allowed them to do what they did? Yes, at the hindsight, yeah. we had come back only about two, three months. And the things Ghanaians were complaining about, we didn't see it. I must be honest, that there was no sugar, milk, the rest. It didn't affect me. I ate, went to the officer's mess, I ate. But now I think the whole country has gotten to know that it was CIA propaganda which instigated the coup against Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. Throughout history, we have seen great leaders like Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah who fell or was removed from power due to external influence, often manipulated by foreign powers. Why? Because we allowed ourselves to be divided and acted selfishly by foreigners. The question is, what are you going to do to change this narrative? First of all, what we are supposed to do with We are supposed to stop blaming our colonial masters or our hegemonic powers for the woes that we ourselves are committing. That you are supposed to do. Second, we are supposed to hold ourselves and our leaders accountable for their actions and our inactions. Because I believe that we voted these people into power or we appointed them to these offices to represent us. So if they are representing us, it tells you that they are doing things to better the community or the nations that they are serving. But it looks as if that most of our leaders in Africa are selfish and they are in offices for their selfish gains what you are supposed to do is to keep ourselves in check and make sure that what you are doing is the right thing that you are doing because according to the narrative from this chinese person how do you see that a chinese man is buying from an african and leaving the other chinese person you can set up a store no matter what your prices are once the chinese are selling next to you the chinese will shop with the chinese mm -hmm. If you set up a business, and it's even applied to the Indian. Indians will first shop with Indians. Europeans will shop with you know, Europeans. Black people are the only race of people who will spend their money with another race of people who don't like them or who don't care about them. So it really tells you that these people are united. I'm not trying to preach about racism, no. 
I'm trying to preach about unity because black people as we are, we are not united. I am in Ghana, but I've had instances where the black people in America are not united. If a black person sees this black person coming, hardly will this black person give that person maybe a smiling face or something. It really tells you that something is going wrong. I know that we have been brainwashed, okay? They've used the media to brainwash us that African Americans in America, when you come to when you come back to Africa, your own Africans will kill you. Your own Africans will do you that, you do you that because we have been brainwashed. But then the earlier we Africans we come together and we unite and we realize that no, these people are dividing us. And rather they are getting themselves united. And that is why as Africans as we are in the continent that we're in. In as much as we have the resources, we have the youth, we have everything, we have to not develop because we as black people, we hate each other. We as black people, most of us are selfish. Most of us think about our selfish gains at the expense of the continent or at the expense of our communities. While this statement coming from this Chinese person is offensive, to me, I see it as a wake up call for the people of Africa. The only way to change this sort of stereotypes about the people of Africa of the black race is for the black race to come together and build an enabling environment for the people of Africa. And that is what we are supposed to do because that is the only way to change this narrative. If Africans tend to unite, we will love ourselves, patronize each other, be each brother's keeper and make sure that we build a better Africa for us all. Let me know about what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel for more. Before we meet again, Stay safe and be informed. Ambassador Peace.